Hello, this is Ryan. Today I want to show you a little trick about how to configure your Z-Wave devices. Most manufacturers include a set of parameters that you can input and change to customize how the device responds. Now these parameters aren't always published so there's this website that somebody made www.pepper1.net that actually lists out what some of the common manufacturers have as their parameters. So I'm going to go down I'm interested in the multi-sensor from Aeon Labs and in this site I can come down to this section the configuration parameters and I can see that parameter number one is going to affect the type of reports that my sensor sends back to my USB stick my controller in my case I'm interested in parameter number two so I can make my device stay awake for 10 minutes after I insert the batteries so I want to set the value to one to make it stay awake. So let me show you how to do that. Let's go back to in control. Motion 2 is my Aeon Lab sensor. So I'm going to click the parameter button. First step is to retrieve the parameter. So we noted in that website that it was number 2. Now if you've got a device that's battery operated, right now you need to wake it up before you can do anything. And you may need to look in the manual on how to do that. So I would go and wake up the device and then I'll click retrieve. I notice it came back pretty quick and showed that the current value is 1. Now one note, if my device hadn't been woken up, I would have got a message about the device being asleep or some sort of a generic error message. So make sure you wake your device up if it's battery powered. So if I wanted to change that value, I'd simply change it to my new value and I would set the value. And we're done. Now I can confirm that it's set by closing this. I can go back into params and once again retrieve that value. I should see that it's now set to zero. So again, I enter the value and hit set and I should be set and good to go. So again, if you've got a battery powered device, you need to make sure you wake it before you hit retrieve and then make sure you wake it again before you hit set. That should take care of everything. Thanks.